I've seen a spirit artist before. Wonderful, a few of you. Uh, what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be bringing in the contact with a link from the other side, and I'm going to try to draw the person that I'm seeing. I usually see them in my mind. It's kind of confusing at times, but sometimes it's just impressed upon me, and I, I draw the person that I'm impressed to draw. I would like you to listen to the information and not necessarily look at the drawing yet, because I could, we could be working together tandemly with the same spirit. And what happens is we could be talking about mom and I end up drawing dad. So sometimes that happens. But most of the time I'm trying to see that person and bring in the people that we can see and, and draw it that way. I do have an eraser over there, just in case spirit makes a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> I try to do the best I can, and um, I'll, I'll explain more when we start. Mm -hmm. So when we do work with that, um, you'll be listening to the information first, and then once we place it, it all comes together in the pot of stew, actually, we kind of say in that way. And so I was sitting there, and I think I'm over here, I believe, I was aware of the presence of a woman that comes to me that passed from cancer, I have to say. The name of Margaret is somewhere connected around her. I do feel she was very ill at the end. There's this real difficulty with breathing at the end of her life. So I do need to say that. And I know um, you were playing the organ, but somewhere there would have been piano music or piano in the family as she talks to me. The month of March would have been significant. Um, the name of John or uh, Jason, but I think it's John, would be connected around her as well. And this comes to me, possibly sister, I have to say, um, at least very good friend, the way she's around. And there's got to be either a passing or a birthday that would be right around December. So would anyone understand any of this so far? What can you take there, my dear? It's my aunt. Okay. But what of the information? You have to take the information, all of it. So what do you mean by relay it back to you? Or? Yes. Can you understand the woman with cancer, the names I brought to you, I have to say? Yes. And all December that. being very important. Yes, she passed on December 30th. Okay. Is there anyone else here? Okay, good. Then I have to say, let me go on quite a bit with her, okay, my dear? Because um, she does come with a tremendous amount of love, and I have to say, she was trying to get my attention really early here, coming here, I have to say. I don't know if you knew her growing up, I have to say, but she goes back to memories, particularly when you were a younger girl. So she must have been very present in your life. I don't know if you've changed your hair or something, or if you're wearing your hair different. I don't know you because I've know. never been here, but you've done something different with your hair, she says. Would that be true or are you always changing? I'm always changing. Okay, great, because she, uh -huh. she loves following what you're doing with that, I have to say. I also believe, I don't know if on your dresser at home, there's something on the left side of your dresser she keeps wanting to reach for. So you must have something that belongs to her on that dresser there or a picture of her, but she wants to go to where you live, your bedroom, on the left side of a dresser, reaching for something that belongs to her. Would you understand that to be true? I do have a picture of her. Okay. Great. Perfect. Because she does know that she comes to visit you in that location, I have to say, as I go around that as well. Your aunt makes reference to another gentleman with her that died very quickly, though. So in the spiritual realms, there's a gentleman that either went with heart attack or accident, something very fast. Would you understand that to be correct? My uncle and her brother. Okay, very fast passing no goodbyes here, I have to say. And I'm hearing Joe's name, so there's a Joe or a Joseph in the family that she's acknowledging. So I do need to bring that name to you as I go around it, I have to say. And I keep seeing nurses around your aunt, so I don't know if there's nurses in the family or why it's significant. She was an angel in her own way, like she mm -hmm. came back from addiction and like she was a nurse and did a lot of like, Okay. Would you understand actual nursing in some yeah. way, though? Because she literally says nursing. Yeah. So I do need to say that. And there's something with a butterfly tattoo, or... Yeah, I have a ladybug tattoo for her. No. Not angel wings. <laughs> I might go with the angel wings, yeah, but it's not a little sorry. ladybug I saw, I have to say. Cause, but she's talking about a tattoo, and I'm glad I didn't see any evident on you. Because she definitely does bring that up. Did you say she passed around December 30th? Okay, that was close enough to Christmas for me, I have to say. And she keeps wanting to take me to a street name that sounds like McCullough or McDonald. I believe she lived on a street. At one point, her residence was either McDonald, McCullough. There's a street name she's taken me to. And at that point, she either lived in an apartment building or there was a two-family house. Would you have memories of that, her living in the house? Okay, great. 
We remember that she's just bringing me to where she used to reside, so I do need to say that in the way it's being brought. She seems to be wanting to pile these books on here for you. So I don't know if she's encouraging you to go back to school or if you're back in school. Would you understand that? I just enrolled this week. Yoo-hoo, I have to say, so she's very happy about that, I have to say. So there's little knockings from the other side. We were talking about knockings on the door for you. There's such a validation to you to pursue that, I have to say, and to do it with all your being. So it may feel like a really big mountain to you, I have to say. This won't be easy, so let me just say that from her. But you can do this, I have to say, in a big way. So there's such an encouragement from her, I have to say. Hmm. Did she shop at like secondhand shops or something? Yes. Would you understand that to be true? Because I'm in consignment shops for some reason. Would you understand that? Because she loved that, I have to say. And she got the best deals and she would talk about it and show them to you. Would you understand that to be correct? Absolutely correct. Because she loved that, I have to say. If it's a part of this world, she liked it. I always say, you know, I like Entenmann's chocolate donuts, the one with the vanilla and the... I said, I wonder if we're going to have those when we move on. And I, I think since the bakers of those were here, we're probably going to get to have them on the other side. So she liked her consignment shop. So I do need to say that in the way she brought it. And she's talking about something called Mitzi or Mushy. I don't know if it's a pet name or a cat name. She has a bunch of animals. She's okay. Snow White. Okay, there's, a, there's definitely a pet she's trying to bring, and she's actually trying to acknowledge the name, so I do need to bring that to her. She would talk for the rest of the day if we let her, I, I have to say. I feel like I've taken so much time. It's all good, I have to say. But she just wants to bring you this tremendous amount of love, the biggest hug, and you just call upon her. This is your ancestor, I have to say. So if you need help getting through school, you call upon her, I have to say. She definitely will be there, um, I have to say. What's that for? Is, some, is someone very creative or artistic? Me. Okay. Are you? Do you I want to be a spirit painter. So. Get out of here, really? really do. You're going to be a what? Spirit, spirit painter. Yay, good. Who oh, no. Okay. What? Well, there's another encouragement there, I have to say. So I, I'm going to just pull back so Joe can get a contact before he uh, begins with the spirit or draw. But please take the tremendous amount of love so that's much. there. God bless you. I have a woman in spirit here that I, I'm delighted to meet because she seems to be such a such a, a wonderful um, person. She has she has such a great uh, sense of uh, compassion for people. I think I'm over in this section right here. I want to go to the lady in the blue, if I may. Can I come to you, ma'am? Do you? Yeah, right, right. You two, right there, if you don't mind. You're right. The, the one in the blue, not the green. Thank you. Yes, you. As I come to you, I, I believe, as I, I come closer to you, and I, I, I feel this, this woman here, she, she held herself really well. She, had, she has a, a, you know, a real uh, grace about her, if you will, in life. She's not frumpy, she's not falling apart. She kind of put herself together, and she liked to walk quite strongly. I feel that she lived a pretty full life. She could have had more time, she says. She said she got cut down a little bit too early, she's talking about. I do feel that she would have had um, some difficulty in her abdomen area. I'm getting a lot of pain through here that would have gone through. Are you understanding this so far? Thank you. And so as I come with her a little closer, she's, she's, um, she's delightful. She has a sense of humor, but it's a bit dry. It's not, it's not like off the wall, if you will. And I feel like um, we would have gotten along quite well. You know, she would have uh, known and, and shown me um, you know, her, her thing. She, she had some nice things, but she wasn't overly tchotchke or that type of thing. She didn't have tons of stuff around. Just a few appointed things that were, were valuable to her and, and meaningful to her, things that were passed down. There is a clock that she mentions, and I don't know if the clock is still in the family, but she talks about a clock. Would you understand that at all? Um, I do, but I was hoping that my mom, can you hear this? Oh, well, that's, it's being recorded, it's being recorded, honey. Okay. So per perhaps they could, someone could have help you with the recording so that your mom can hear this. Where okay? is mom? Mom's just behind oh, okay. her. Yes. Oh, okay. and, and I feel that this woman would have been um, 
full of grace when she when she came around. For, loved the children, loved everybody. Always an advisor. A little bit tough, I have to say. I think if I approached the house, I would have had to, you know, she would have given me the 20 questions. She'd want to know where I was coming from. You know, does he have a job? You know, that type of thing. You know, I would have gotten that kind of thing. So I, I need to mention that as well. Now, does June mean something to you in the month of June? I want to go with June as either an anniversary or birthday, something like that, that I, I want to say. I'm going around the 10th, but I need to kind of, that's the number there. You do understand all that, don't you? Thank you. And if I were also come a little further, um, she was the kind of person who fought a good fight at the end, you know, and without complaint. She's not a whiner. You know, you would never know. She was sick. She didn't want anyone doing anything for her. She would do everything herself. And she has this, she just had this dignity. But she's thanking you and your mom for, for passing with dignity. So I, I she, she, like, the people helped her to be herself and be strong in her being. So that's very important that I kind of bring that to you, if I may. I don't know who Ruthie is, or Ruth, but I do need to say that the name Ruth is in my head for some reason. It just popped in there. It could be a friend of hers or something she knew in life. But I want to mention it to you. Please hold on to that if you don't understand it, because I know it to be true. So you, you can hold on to that if you will. Does it make sense to you at all? It's okay to say no to me. Thank you. So uh, let me find out where we look for that, if you will. I know it to be a friend of hers or somebody that she worked with. And I want, I want to say to this, is, are there teachers in the family? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's around a teaching situation, perhaps another teacher that she admired, uh, because I feel good about it, but I do feel that this person may have passed recently. So there's a, a visit on the other side, if you will. So there is an acknowledgement. Um, could I also say, why do I want to go north? I, I don't want to be here in Florida for a minute. I, I kind of want to go way up north, if you will. I, I, kind of, I, I kind of want to go up to New England, if I could. could. Is, there, is, there, is there a relevance to that if, with the family at all? Well, I love to New England. Okay, so I, I kind of want to go back where I, near where I grew up, which is Massachusetts, and, and that, that whole area, that, down by the shore, if you will. And um, it's, it's a beautiful place. She's talking about memories that you two would have had together. That you were quite little, I want to say. She's, she's saying you were a spunky one, and you have, were very precocious, she said. You, you were always chasing you. You were like one of the first ones to stand up and start pulling things off tables. <laughs> Do you know that of yourself? Have you heard the stories? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you that anyway. <laughs> I do, feel, I do feel a comfort with her around you. Um, where are the, the four children? Um, okay. She had five. Okay. Are there four, four boys? She keeps talking about the four. So let me, can I go to the month of April, please? Is that an important month? I know four is important to her, so I, usually it means children to me, but I kind of want to see if this is something else that she's trying to mention to My me. Daughter's okay. Did she lose a child before her passing? My grandmother. Did somebody My lose a child? My daughter's had two miscarriages. Hmm? My daughter's had two miscarriages. Okay. She's talking about a child that was lost, and there's a lot of love and compassion around that, and wanting of peace, wanting of continuation, and, and you know, almost like try again. If this is a wonderful thing. There's more beauty to come. So I want to bring that to you, if I may, and tell you that there's more beauty to come, if you will. I, I know I have Jean over here, but, but there's, there's, there's a, the same kind of name. So could I also bring that to you as well? Does that name mean anything to you, Jean or Joan? Joan. Joan. And who is Joan? Is that Mom? Oh, yeah, So say you hello know. to Joan, and thank you very much. God bless you, and I'll leave that with light and love. God bless you. Um, so we've just got five minutes to do a draw. Oh, <laughs> We tried to raise it up a bit, but the, the board is a little bit low, but um, he'll move away so you can see it as he draws. So if you listen to the information as we put it forward, and then Joe will, Joe's the spirit artist, so he'll certainly be doing the drawing. <coughs> I would like to bring you a gentleman, if I may, and, and as I begin to talk about him, he would have, uh, 
he would have enjoyed the outdoors quite a bit. I do think he worked um, in a way where he tried to be outdoors as much as he could. He's a very astute gentleman. I do think he would have been a very serious guy at times. You know, I, I do think he has a sense of humor, but he would be very matter of fact. Not, um, not somebody that was a real pushover. Somebody that would really have a, a strength about him. Um, I do believe he, he got up in years. He, would have, he should have had more time, I, I want to say. He's, got, he's not a, as, as girthy as I am, as I come close to him. He's, he's quite a good-looking man. I do believe he might have had blue eyes. I, I want to put blue into his eyes in just a moment here, if I may. I also want to say that if you were to understand this, uh, the name William or, is, is associated with him somehow. I also want to talk about the fact that, that he, uh, he was, has a mechanical aptitude. I, I do think almost like an engineering kind of a mind. Uh, he may have been very good at kind of making things work, uh, that type of type of energy and type of situation around him. I do think he, he began to lose weight towards the end. I have a lot of lung issues here. I feel, I feel like I, I, my breathing is, is quite labored towards the end. And I feel that perhaps that's, that's part of how he passed. It, he was stubborn. He could be quite stubborn, but I, I, do think, I do think he had a love for others. I'm really down low here, so I'm getting off. <laughs> yeah. He seems successful somewhat in life. I do feel Joe is right. I feel the same kind of energy. I think this could have been a cancer, and he didn't know it was cancer until it was pretty far advanced. Because he's talking about it. He might have just not been feeling well, but never knew he was that sick. So I do need to say that. And it was very organized. If you would understand this to be dad, I have to say, um, I feel father, possibly um, uh, grandfather, but I'm leaning towards father here. Um, his house would have been organized where he had his books, they would have been placed. If he had a garage, you know, the holes would have been wrapped in the perfect little circle. It wouldn't have just been thrown there. So I do need to say that. I know Joe uh, mentioned the name William, I have to say. Um, he's also talking about the name George is significant. Um, and there definitely was a successful job. So I don't feel he went to, to the gas station to pump gas. He goes to an office of some sort. or might have even had a business at one point. So would anyone understand uh, most of this at this point? What can you take, ma'am? Uh, my husband's William. He was very brilliant. He was an engineer. He loved the outdoors. He was constantly in the Rockies hunting and fishing. Was he uh, sick at the end? He... he Died due to medical malpractice, but he did have a heart issue. Okay, because there seemed to be something going on with him, so whatever the medical issue, I have to say. And was he somewhat organized? Did he want yes. things put back in their place, I have to say. Um, do either you or him have a sense of humor a bit? Oh, very. Because there was wonderful laughter, I have yes. to say, um, so I do need to acknowledge it. Um, he was very grateful to meet up with his father, I have to say. So there must have been a bond with him and his dad. So I don't know if Joe's drawing your husband or if it's um, his father, I have to say. But there's definitely a strong connection here that I need to talk about um, with his dad. So, you know, if there is a good thing about passing, that seems to come up in that way. And there's something about a love of cars here. Would you understand that at all? Or a prized car he's talking about. Well, he had to make sure I, I had a really nice car. Also. Okay. Great, I have to say, because uh, it's talked about. There seemed quite a few men in his family. Yes. So I don't know if there were brothers or uncles there. I, I'm not sure if you, are you recognizing the drawing at all? Uh, no, I'm actually not. But all of the Flynn's were Catholics, and they had loads of kids, and I put the kiboshes at three. Okay, great. Loads and loads of kids. Okay, as I mentioned, I believe that we're talking about your husband. I don't know if this is his father or if we go to an uncle of his, but I think we're once removed in the drawing from your husband. Yeah, it could be an uncle. Okay. Yes. Uh, which you would have pictures of, because he's saying yes. there's a black and white photo of this gentleman, I have to say, that you should acknowledge. And the name of George should be significant somewhere in that. So we remember I said that to you. Well, the thing about George is we have a joke in the family about George, Georgine, and Georgette. And it was a maker with a very nasal voice, and she called her husband, Joe! <laughs> so my daughter and I was calling him 
each other with Jardine. Ah, okay. Maybe it's just a validation, I have to say. But if you look for the uncle, I know you will find this painting, I have to say, in the way it's shown to me. You do have a loose box of pictures here where the things aren't organized. Because your husband's telling me where you should look for this photo, I have to say. So I know you will find the uncle. Anything you would like to add, George? George. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're with this woman. We're talking about the husband, I have to say. Uh, could you put your hand up? Thank you. I believe this is the uncle. Um, uh, Do you recognize him in this family at all, ma'am? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. Sure. And, okay. and could, I, could I also ask you if there's a Paul? Oh, my God. He had a reputation in junior high, and the principal said, don't let that Billy Flynn come to your house. And he smoked, he smoked Winston cigarettes, which right. he quit. So they called him Paul Winston. And that's how he came to the house for a few years before we divulged to my mother. His name is Bill. Oh. Fabulous, I have to say. Very good. <laughs> There's such just the love, I have to say, from the other side. Do you garden? Are you into flowers? Or do you decorate quite a bit? Yes. Because your husband says you make everything gorgeous. There oh. truly was a love for you from my heart to him. Uh, to you, so you do make either you love to decorate or you, the house looks good. But I just need to know everything you touched, you made beautiful from your husband to you. If there are rose here, we could drop it from the sky to you from him. So I do need to bring that. We just have about a minute, Joe. Okay. <laughs> um, I also feel like uh, that there's you're talking about a husband who's not this gentleman, correct? Right. Right. The husband is deceased. She took all the information. We believe the drawing is the uncle. Yes. Who, had the, who had the interest in music in, in, in life? Um, several. I played piano. Okay, so there's a lot of this, this thought yes. and, and movement towards music and things yes. like that. He's a big Allman Brothers fan for some reason. Yes. Oh, and, okay. and he's talking about <laughs> the Allman Brothers, you know, yeah. like, and I, I hear that music in the background. So um, he, he would have really loved to just be out and about. He, he did yeah. not like to sit at home, if you will. Um, I do believe he brings other people just to, to show you who he's with and where he's about here. Now, he has a concern for somebody here that he said he's praying for, because he would like him to make clear, concise decisions and make those decisions, and, you know, and, and make a decision to be happy with the decision he makes, to, to stop floundering a little bit. So there's a lot of love here for, I believe, a son or a, that, that type of thing around as well, okay? Yes. Can I give you that, please? Yes. And, and um, who is Jeffrey to him? He worked with a, a fellow. Named okay, so he talks about a Jeffrey as well that he's praying for, so he wants to just say that that's a, also a person, that person not, wasn't making good decisions, so yes. He's trying to help him steer that away. I don't know if there's drinking involved there or something, but I just want to say that there are prayers from the other and side for people. And a cousin named Jeffrey. Hmm? And a cousin named Jeffrey. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. Well, please take the love.